Welcome to Carlos Cooks again. Well, I promised myself this weekend I was going to have a rest and not do any cook, do any cooking at all, but um, I lost the battle. I think it was because I saw lots of these lovely things in the supermarket, and I used them uh, last weekend in a dessert I made. But um, yeah, bl blueberries are everywhere in the supermarkets at the moment, and for some reason I could not get blueberry pancakes out of my head. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to make them, aren't I? So um, we've got some ingredients here ready. And we've got a pan, wide based frying pan non-stick, with a little bit of butter melting in it slowly on the, uh, on the gas. What we've got here, we've got 200 grams of self-raising flour. And in here, we've beaten an egg and added 300 mils of milk. Ideally use whole milk. I'm not, I'm using a lacto-free milk. Um, but just mix those together, the egg and the milk. And then some more dry ingredients. We've got a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And we've got a little knob of butter which we've melted in the microwave briefly. And then of course, our planet of blueberries. Now some of the blueberries are gonna go into the batter mix um, and cook in the actual pancakes. Um, and we're gonna save some to just um, go on top with some uh, low calorie maple syrup, which I've got to show you because I found this in a local shop and it's made by a company called Skinny I think um, and it's ideal for me being diabetic you know maple syrup is something I can't really partake of but uh, this I don't know if you can read is uh, zero calorie but gluten free fat free zero calories vegan friendly and more importantly sugar free and with no added sugar so um, I'm going to be able to have a little bit of that on top of these pancakes, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I'm going to mix the dry ingredients together, and then I'm going to make a well in the centre of the, of the flour, and I'm going to mix in the milk and the egg. Um, and then finally, once everything's mixed together, I'm going to milk it, uh, mix in the uh, little knob of melted butter. So I'll do that now and uh, show you at the end of that. So that's all the ingredients just whisked in by hand. So the flour and the baking powder and the salt first, and then made a well in the centre and just slowly added the egg and milk mixture and beat it in until we've got a fairly thick batter, fairly smooth. So you will have to beat it quite well. You could use a hand mixer if you wanted to. You can see we've got a, quite a thick consistency there. And what we're going to do now is just add a few blueberries. So we've got some in our pancakes as they're cooking. We'll save some for the top. Just going to mix those in a bit. How many have we got in there? Let's put a few more, just a few more. So that's that part done. And then, as I say, large knob of butter. We're on a ring with the gas on about medium. And we're just going to get that warmed up. And then we're going to spoon in using a large sort of um, cooking spoon, as you can see. I'm going to spoon it in. And we should get pancakes around. I don't know, they're going to be about between five and eight centimetres in width, diameter, or whatever, before they start to set. And then we'll leave them cooking in the pan until bubbles start to appear on the top. It usually take between you know, three, four minutes, and you'll start to see little bubbles appear on the surface of the pancake, and that's when it's ready to turn over and cook the other side. So we'll just get that warmed up a little bit, and then we'll... Uh, We'll put our pancakes in. Okay, so this is the first two pancakes in. Just dolloped it in and just pushed down a little bit with a spatula just to flatten them out to the right sort of size and shape. But they will sort of cook down anyway. And we're just letting those cook in the pan now until we can see those bubbles start to appear on the surface. For about three or four minutes it should take. Just slowly cooking the butter. 
don't know if you can see, but we're just starting to get bubbles just on the surface now. Just starting to appear. So I'm going to turn them over. And as you can see, the bottoms were just colouring lovely. So they're about ready to turn. So they just need uh, about another two or three minutes on the other side and then we'll start making the rest. And we'll just keep them warm on a plate with a bit of kitchen rolled over while we spoon in the rest of the mixture and make the rest of the pancakes. Okay, they've had another two to three minutes on the other side. And if we have a look underneath them, see we've got a similar sort of amount of colour and they're lovely and springy and they're bouncing back when I, I push them down. So that means they're cooked perfectly. So we're going to take those out and make the rest now. Okay, I've just turned over the second batch. So as you can see, I, I got five fairly sort of large pancakes out of that mix. I think if you could have um, probably stretched it to six, which is plenty for three people, because you're only going to need two of these. Um, so they're just finishing off on the other side. Here I'm sizzling away in the butter. So we just give them a little bit of a move in the pan. And they smell delicious. You can really smell the blueberries as they're warming up. You can see that one there. They're starting to just pop a little bit and the juices come out into the pancake. They're going to be delicious. Okay, I could stack all five on top of each other and make it look a really impressive blueberry pancake stack, but I want to save the others for another time. I'm going to just warm those up um, and eat them for breakfast tomorrow probably. But for now, we'll just use these two. So, a little bit of our zero sugar. Oh, came out a bit quicker than I thought it would. Come on. It's not a very good bottle by the look of it. Not a very good bottle. But it's come out okay. I'll just put a few fresh blueberries on top. And there we have it. So let's see what they look like inside. They look delicious, they smell delicious. Let's let's try it. Oh, they smell divine. Absolutely divine. Get a bit of that maple syrup up. Oh wow. They're amazing. Even if I say so myself. The pancakes have just got a little bit of crunch just on the outside which is really nice with the softness of the inside. But the blueberries as you can see, very similar to when you cook them in a muffin, they've just um, sort of burst. And you get that burst of fruits, fruit when you uh, bite into them. And it goes really nice with the maple syrup. But I'll tell you what is missing there is a dollop of cream. But give those a go, they're beautiful. That'll make your kids breakfast lovely, that will. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I've put up new content and I'll see you next time.